close. Now, what you can do at this point is um, you'll get different dialogue uh, depending on what clothes you're wearing. But overall, it doesn't really affect anything. Um, but I'm going to leave the clothes on. I'm going to leave the merchant clothes on because, to be honest, when you're just dressed as Locke, which is what change clothes does for you, uh, y you don't get very good dialogue. It, the line is, and you are. And I'll let you know what that line is. But um, instead of what is said here, it just says, and you are. I've seen her before. Of course, she's one of the Empire's generals. Oh, her! We saw her in a cutscene. Well, like a flashback, I guess you could say, with Kefka and Leo. This is what happens to traitors. Product of genetic engineering, battle-hardened Magitek Knight with a spirit as pure as snow. Her name is not Salus. The profile picture makes her look like a witch. Named after Limanity, this is going to be Limia. So the mighty Limia has fallen. How can you serve those cowards? Hold your tongue. Isn't it true Kefka is going to poison the people of Doma to the east? Once again, this is kind of all happening at the same time, so... Even though it's already happened in, in the Let's Play, it, it technically hasn't happened plot-wise just yet. Well, it could be happening at the moment. How'd she know that, though? I'd hate to be in your shoes tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir, I can go for days without sleep. Nicely done, Luke. Holy crap, do you see him up there? That is one hell of a move, dude. Nicely done. Let's go in and save Limea. Speaking of Limeity, you guys should, should check out his SoundCloud. He does all uh, the intro music for all these. I think he did a particularly good job on Final Fantasy VI. Uh, but really, all that he's done is, is fantastic. Links in the description, as always. Let's move on. He could go for days without sleep. Obviously. Oh, this is how some of my dreams start right here. How are you doing, Limea? Ow. Why isn't there an option number three right here? Fine, we'll remove her chains. I guess. What do you hope to pedal down here? Oops, forgot I was wearing these clothes. And this is the point where if you were just wearing the normal clothes, Luke's normal clothes, she would just say, and you are. Uh, and if you're described as, uh, sorry, disguised as a trooper, she'll say, you're awfully short for a soldier, to which uh, Luke says, oh, I forgot I was wearing a uniform. So, just a little bit of interesting dialogue for not changing. I'm with the Returners. Name's Luke. Returners! I used to be General Limia. Now I'm just a common traitor. Let's go. You take me along? Hell yeah! Thanks, but no thanks. I can barely walk. Yeah, I, I hear that a lot. I'm grateful, but... Even if you got me out, you'd never be able to protect me. Now I think I'm better off here. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Let's go. Wait. This soldier has something important on him. No, oh, what's he got? There's a clock key in his pocket. I will take it. Stealing is wrong? Seriously? In an RPG? No, stealing is always right. Took the clock key. And and some bread too. Seems like he can go for days sleeping, not without sleeping. Maybe that's just me. So, let's head into here. And there is a save point, which I will use, and I'll take this opportunity to fully equip Limea as well. Alright, all healed, saved, and ready to go. Equipped Limeo with everything that I needed. You'll see that she is a little bit higher of a level than Luke right now. She's also going to be in the back row because she's female, and that's how it works in these games. Uh, she actually does need to be healed. Well, she did. I healed her. But when she joins the party, she needs to be healed, which is a little strange. Uh, 
I, I give her earrings and barrier ring. I pretty much anything that I had that increases her magic power. Why would I do that? That sounds weird. Uh, in terms of equipment, I give her the regal cutlass, mithril shield, green beret, iron armor. Why did I give her all the magic power? Because if we look at skills, huh, Esper's and magic. Let's just look at magic, since we don't have anything in Esper's just yet. Uh, she is a mage, uh, mostly a white mage. She does have ice on her, so she does have some offensive magic as well. But primarily, I will probably be using her as a white mage throughout. That's all she's got so far. Uh, MP, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Let's take a look at her stats. Uh, defense is pretty high. Battle power is crap, even with the Regal Cutlass. Of course, Luke's got two swords, but still. Uh, her vigor is okay. Speed's pretty slow. Of course, you know, I'm comparing her with the Thief. Uh, stamina is pretty good. Magic power, of course, is great. Um, magic defense is pretty damn good. And her magic block, of course, that is pretty much the same as evasion is pretty damn high. Especially compared to Luke. Luke, you can't dodge for shit. Okay, let's move on. We need to head into the last room. And remember that there was really nothing that we could do here before. I mean, there were treasure chests that I grabbed, but that was pretty much it. There's an old clock and it was ticking. No elixirs in there, which is very disappointing. But if we head over to this one, it's not ticking, but we can wind it. So we wind the clock like the little girl said we should. Little girls, they'll never lie to you. Oh, that's that's horrible. They'll always lie to you. Don't listen to them. Except they have if they have cookies. And we have a new enemy. We have Vector Pups. Uh, let's go ahead and try to steal from them. Ooh, I didn't go over Runic just yet, uh, but I'll go over that later. Um, I don't. I think there is somewhat of an introduction into it in the game. I'll just go ahead and fight because these guys are doing pretty good damage against us. And yeah, we're going to keep going for this because if you remember the runic blade had... Really? It's going to run? What the hell? 64 experience and 83 gil. I'll take it. Let's continue going forward and see what else we can find here. I think I want to head down here and we also have a new enemy here. We have the commander. Let's go ahead and take out some of these pups. Uh, if we can. And well, I should be able to take out the other one with just a single targeted spell here. And we'll see if we can take out the other one. Actually, let's try to steal. Uh oh, grudge. Damn it. That's a lot of damage. He couldn't steal anyway, of course. So what was even the point? What was even the point? Go for the ice, see if that's enough. It is. Down goes the commander. 170 experience points, 319 gil. Let's head down here, grab ourselves more iron armor. I don't think anybody needs that at the moment, though. We'll head over to the right, I believe. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can go that way, so we'll have to go up and around. The game is, well, at least this dungeon is full of secret passages, I guess, kind of. But in these treasure chests here, we can get a heavy shield and another regal cutlass. Once again, stuff that we pretty much already had and had equipped, but I will take it nonetheless. Where do you go from here? You go down here. I know, it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to also take up the left here instead of any of the rights. And yes, I am going to have to use regular fight commands for this part, which is weird for me in this game. And here we can get more earrings, which I am going to equip on Lanya, because that does boost her magic power even more. If I could find them, there they are. I know it says that it lowers her magic power, but it really raises it which is definitely what I want. So we have paired the earrings, very, very nice. And I was about to say, we could go down there, but we have to take on these guys first. But before I forget, there is a secret passage up through here that I almost forgot to go through. There it is. Looks like it's like the second one from the top. So where is it? Where is the path down? There we go. Oh, moving in the dark can be tough at times. 
but that frees us to go down here where I bet there is some good treasure. Since it is like a secret passage in a secret passage, here we can get an X potion. Always appreciate that heals you all the way to full. And we can grab an ether. And if I remember right, there's actually something else around here. Hmm. I think it's under the X potion now. There's a secret treasure chest here. There we go. With a ribbon in it. Very nice. I believe that is... Yes, it is now an accessory instead of a helmet like it's been in previous games. Uh, this will protect you from all status ailments. You don't want to miss this one. Um, I don't even know who to equip it on right now. Yeah, we'll get rid of one of your earrings. After all, you are the mage. It is more important that you do not get confused or anything like that right now. So let's head back up. And unfortunately, we do have to go kind of through here and down. There we go. So really nothing left but to head on out of here. There is a secret passage down here, but unfortunately it is blocked. Uh, we can't go through there. That, if you remember right, leads to Duncan's house. But we, we don't want to go to Duncan's house right now. We want to leave instead. Why are you helping me? You remind me of someone. But what's it matter anyway? I just want to, okay? <laughs> oh, he loves you. He loves you, love you. Can I talk to this guy now? I bet I could. Seriously, dude? Blockhead? Like, seriously? You were just chasing me, like, not even 30 minutes ago. And I have a famous general in your army with me. A and nothing. Nothing. So, let's just move on. Uh, we need to head back to Narsh, of course.